Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, April 8th, 2021. I'm on my way to the Statesville Airport. Big day today, Airworthiness Inspection Day. So, submitted all the paperwork about three weeks ago. There's an online portal for uploading everything. Still a little unknown as to exactly how this works. I guess every inspector has their own process. Um, and you can use two different types of inspections. You can use the DAR, which is the uh, Dedicated Airworthiness Representative. I think I have that right. And that's a paid service. Uh, that's an individual that you would pay to come in and perform the inspection. Or you can just make a request to the local FISDO office and uh, you don't have to pay anything. Generally, there's a little bit of a wait with that. Um, but I went ahead and reached out to the local FISDO office and just tried to see what that would involve and they were pretty accommodating. Uh, didn't seem like there'd be much of a delay at the time I spoke with them. Uh, so I just went ahead and decided to go the FISDO route. So uh, I'm meeting with the local FISDO inspector. Uh, I guess that he's going to be bringing a, an apprentice with him or somebody that's getting trained on how to do these inspections. So uh, I've got two people I'm meeting here today. Again, I'm not entirely sure what to expect for the inspection in terms of what they look at. I've heard people say, yeah, the guy came out, looked at my paperwork and handed me a certificate and never looked at the airplane. I've heard other people say, yeah, the guy came out and we spent four hours looking at every nut, bolt, cotter pin, safety wire, everything you could imagine. So, uh, the other day I spoke to the inspector and I asked him, you know, can you just kind of give me an idea how I should plan my day? Do I need to set aside the entire day for the inspection? Um, you know, what, what are we looking at here? Because all I got was a date and time that he was going to arrive and really just didn't know what to expect from there. He said, you know, it shouldn't really take more than just a couple hours, which I was thrilled to hear. He mentioned that he had looked over a lot of the things that I had submitted and felt like I was very, in his words, meticulous in the uh, paperwork and from some of the stuff that he had viewed. I guess maybe he went to the online blog and maybe the, even the YouTube channel and saw some of the entries that uh, I had made regarding the build. So, so possibly he's primed and ready to go. So yeah, I think I'm about as prepared as I can be. I have all the paperwork submitted. Uh, I've even created a three ring binder just to keep everything organized and I'm just going to hand it to him and say here's everything I think you're, you should have. Maybe it's more than he needs but it'll be you know a lot of the weight and balance, fuel flow testing, the things that uh, I've performed preparing for this, uh, this inspection. So let's head up there and open up the hangar and let's get this day over with. So here are some of the items I'm having laid out for the inspection today. I just put together this airworthiness inspection documents book. Just all of the uh, things I had to complete. Airworthiness application. This is from the EAA step-by-step -step certification guide. This is kind of the Bible for assembling an airplane, inspection and repair alterations. This is AC 43.13. I got a book I put together here called First Flight Tasks and Notes. 
just things to remember to do things I've accumulated over the past couple of years this is basically an outline of all the electrical system components of the airplane here's the starter alternator um, magnetos flight test cards for the phase one flight testing Here's an aeronautical map that's going to show the area of phase one uh, practice area. This stack of books is just all of the uh, avionics stuff. Here's a book on the airflow performance fuel injection system, the Hartzell propeller, the IO540, uh, Lycoming IO540 engine, more quick build books for the Bearhawk. Here's a builder's manual. This is actually the scratch builder's manual for building the Bear Hawk. Got to have a data plate, so I put my data plate on one of the inspection covers. Uh, the inspector is going to want to see that. And also, we have a set of plans. The inspector wants to see the plans, so we've got the plans out and ready for him. So I don't anticipate that the inspector is going to want uh, having me film this inspection. So I think at this point we're just going to pause. We'll have the inspection completed and then uh, get back to you, let you know if I passed or failed. Okay, so the title of the video gives it away. I failed the inspection. Not really. Here's what the deal is. It's a technicality. Let me show you what I have to do. It's completely a paperwork problem. I indicated on all of the paperwork that it's a Bearhawk Model B. On this particular eligibility statement, I indicate it's a Bearhawk B model. And that's not consistent with the rest of the paperwork. Therefore, no certificate. So, Here's the new document that I had to get notarized, and it now says Bearhawk Model B. So now the description of the model is consistent with all the paperwork. So it's just one of those things I missed, so uh, I'll submit that paperwork back in, and then they'll bring me, uh, or actually email me the certificate, or they're going to be back out here next week, and they said they could drop it off. There are a couple of things that they noticed on the Bearhawk that they wanted me to take care of. They're not big issues. They're just little things that they saw. Uh, let's take a look at those. Okay, so inside the cabin where we see all of the brake lines and then I've got a, a parking brake cable that comes over here to the parking brake cylinder and this cable here kind of almost touches this cable here and they want me to move that uh, Adele clamp up the, the tube there a little bit and raise that a little bit away from that uh, from that brake line there. Also, some of these uh, eyes that go through the firewall, they are, uh, the cable is actually resting against the, the edge of the firewall. Uh, those cables don't move, but they decided that they would like to see me relieve that pressure a little bit on those cables. So it's no big deal. That'll take a couple minutes and I'll take care of that. And so one other thing they wanted me to do on this autopilot servo for the roll servo, they want me to re-safety wire this. They just didn't like the way that safety wire was on there. And then the last thing here, I don't know if we can see this with the camera, when the aileron is fully deflected, that push rod almost touches the bracket over there. And this is hard to do the camera and the flashlight both. Um, so that's going to be easy because all I need to do is just take one turn out of this turnbuckle here, add another turn to the turnbuckle inside on the pass-through, and that'll just give that bell crank a little bit of relief. So, so those are the things that the uh, inspector found. Uh, I'll take care of the paperwork, fix these things here, take pictures of them, and then next week I'll have the airworthiness certificate. So now... Every single person I talk to that I tell them I'm getting the airworthiness certificate, when are you going to fly? Look, 
there's no way to know that i've been it's just an unknown uh we've got a lot of things to think about we've got to first of all i've got to put this thing back together uh, i've got parts that need to be painted there's some gap seals and fairings on here that i that have been mocked up and i need to take them back off they're going to have to be primed and painted um we've got weather we've got things to think about like with weather we've got people's schedules we got to look at uh mikey matthews the additional proficient pilot that's going with me uh, he may have some scheduling issues as well so there's really no way to say i would like to say within the next 10 days oh by the way i'm also taking jared yates uh, bear hawk transition training program i'm doing some flying in his bear hawk as well so uh, i don't have a set date on the the first flight uh, it's just going to happen when it happens all i know is we're getting closer to that date so stay tuned and hopefully we'll have some updates what i'd like to do prior to the first flight is have an interview with mikey and we're going to discuss the uh, phase one flight testing the first flight itself what we're going to do how we're going to configure and fly the airplane uh, and just really just do a complete brief of our, uh, our our first flight and subsequent phase one flight testing so stay tuned i'll have more uh, as they come guys thank you so much mm -hmm.